What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while since we last uploaded a video, uh, but been dealing with things, you know, life. So haven't really had much car stuff going on, but today we are in luck. So as you guys may have known, I had the Motordyne XYZ wide pipe on the car and it was a good wide pipe. It toned down the car a little bit because it had the additional resonator on it, but I wanted to go ahead and switch it out to something a little bit more free flowing. And after talking to a few people, uh, ISR wide pipe is probably the best budget wide pipe you can get that's uh, decently flowing in a sense. This is just to be an NA tryhard kind of guy. It really doesn't matter. It might pick up two horsepower if that. But I wanted to switch it up. So let's go ahead and swap this in the car. We're also going to do a simple oil change on the car because it's been a while. And we're going to probably do a little bit more weight reduction. Um, there is something that people have suggested for me to take off of the car that really doesn't have any purpose for what I'm using the car for. So uh, we'll go ahead and get into that later on in the video as well. But first things first, we're gonna get the rear end of the car level so we can get under it well and slap this white pipe in. So let's get it. Joy Savage. Joy Savage. Right, guys so we got the white pipe installed on the car just drained out the oil i'm gonna put the new oil in as always uh on this car i love to run the 1040 mobile one high mileage full synthetic so we'll go ahead throw that in and then i'm gonna jack up the rear of the car and we'll go ahead and move on to the weight reduction aspect of this video i'm gonna just pretty much be deleting the rear sway bar a lot of the dry racing guys especially in these z's and g's um, always have told me just to take it off because it really doesn't do anything and it sheds a decent amount of weight So let's uh, put some oil in this thing drop that rear sway bar and then we'll do a first start to see how it sounds with the new Wi-Fi crazy part is I haven't done an oil change on this thing in a while and it's definitely taking some abuse so yeah uh, change your oil oh and always make sure your drain plugs in <laughs> that sucks it's happened to me before and uh, yeah you don't want that to happen to you because you're gonna have a bad time sure All right. All right, now let's get uh let's get the rear of the car jacked up and get that sway bar off. All right, guys. So, we got the rear sway bar out. Really wasn't anything too difficult. Just uh two 14s on each side for the end links and then the two 14s that hold the uh bushing and the bracket. So, I got that off. Um rather simple. Definitely uh some weight. I don't think it's a lot, but whatever. Every ounce counts, right? Alright guys, so let's uh, send her with a little cold start and give the camera to my apprentice over here. Sure! Hopefully it sounds the same. All 
right guys well that's gonna do it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it as you can see and hear the car sounds savage pretty much a little bit louder definitely i would say than uh it did with the motordyne but all in all still sounds pretty uh close to what it it was it's just definitely a lot louder once you give it some gas but yep thank you guys for watching like comment subscribe let me know what you think and stay tuned for the next mods that we're going to be doing for the z so that we can finally take it to the track so uh as always peace